it's like a dream of mine to to sure. completely blow out and like have to restructure my knee. We've communicated yeah. and said, you know what? Lion tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. Cindy! The TV's leaking! McLovin? Yeah. Today is Thomas Cup's birthday, and this is Project X. Yo. So I took to instead. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to a quick commercial break as I beat the brakes off Kit. You're listening to Bird Call on Spotify. Nope. Or Apple Music or YouTube. We're on Spirit Live, first of all, first and foremost. I took to Instagram to ask people what their best Halloween costume has been. Personally, I think when I was, I may have been 10 years old, I dressed up as a princess. That's why to this day, I can't beat the allegations. I cannot beat the allegations. And I think that's in part because of it. Not that the allegations are a bad thing, littlest of bros, but that princess costume didn't help. What's your, what were you, Kate? What's your, what costume have you worn? What's been a good costume of yours? Um, in middle school, I went as the Dark Knight. That one was badass. Did you mean like the car and everything too? No. Um, it was really cool. It had like a foam chest, so it made my pecs look massive. Nice. And then another one I liked as a kid was, I forget the name of it, but it was the Yellow Teletubby. Oh. Uh, is that Dipsy? No, I think it's the one that started with a T. If there is one that starts with a T. Uh, Tinky Winky, Dipsy, Lala, and Poe. It could be Tinky Winky. Nah, bro, it's Dipsy. What are the Teletubbies? What if it's Poe? Teletubbies. No, Poe's the red one. Lala. You were Lala. Hmm. Yeah. You know what scared me? You know what frightened me about Teletubbies? The sun, bro. It was a face. It was a child's face. Can you see how that could be... A little bit scary for a four-year-old because then you go outside and then you go looking into the sun for two reasons that's bad a you're gonna blind yourself as a toddler b you're looking for a human face in the sun Mm -hmm. there's no benefit in that so i don't see why teletubbies would take it upon themselves to put a child as the sun yeah and they're like disproportionate like their bodies as well why, like long torso? Yeah, they're like really tall too. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. If a Teletubby were to play in the NFL, what position would it be? You know, I know they're they're heavier set. Left tackle. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But what about like like defensive end? Like some of the leaner Teletubbies. You know, they're clocking at like seven foot eight. I don't know. I, I think that uh, they're probably not quick enough. Okay. Yeah, but do you... Yeah. But do you need to be quick as a left tackle? Like, your feet gotta be... Like you gotta I'm be, saying for a defensive edge. Yeah. Yeah, but now I'm bringing it back to left tackle. Uh, kind of quick. I guess as quick as uh, like other linemen would need to be. Yeah, fair enough. We can address this tomorrow on another football show. What position would a tell to be play? I want to go back to the Halloween talk. Yeah. Some people sent in what their best costumes were. I have some of them here. Um, some of them I don't understand. Um, someone said that Dr. Evil and Mini-Me was, is, a, is one of their costumes. I think it's a solid costume. But does that mean that you have to be walking around with a little person? Yeah, that's a good point. Because or else it just looks like two Dr. Evils. Do you shave your head for it? I think if, yeah, I think that's probably the best approach. Shave your head or, like, wear a bald cap. But then you gotta look bald. Yeah, that's that's what the bald cap does. I know, but looking bald is, yeah. Some people rock bald. Nobody chooses to go bald, though. Yeah, like it's forced upon them. Like you got to shave your head. Like yeah. no one, like no one with like beautiful luscious curls. Like maybe yourself or or me, for example, <laughs> would just wake up one day and say, "I'm a go, I'm a go bare cranium." Yeah. Plus, if you have like weird veins and stuff, people yeah. probably think like you're an angry person all the time. Yeah. 
or you just have good blood flow. I guess. Yeah. Anyway, those are one of the costumes. Someone said that they were the, you know, I had to do it to him guy. I don't know who that is. What is that? You know, I had to do it. Oh, that's like the frat guy with the arms on his like. Oh. Thing. Like, like, you know, I had to do it to him. Oh, that's good. That's a good costume. Old meme. Yeah. You know what else is an old meme? The uh, put him in a coffin. Apparently that guy died. He uh, he was, well, he was um, he was put in a coffin. I actually don't even remember that it's being the, a thing. It's the yeah, it's the guy who used to go around to, like supermarkets or or grocery stores or, you know, um, a a peach factory, and he would just go put him in a coffin, and he would lie down. He would jump on it on his back. He would jump on whatever it might be. Roll of toilet paper, shopping cart, baby stroller. You don't remember those memes? No, honestly, I've never seen this guy on my timeline ever. And I guess I won't anymore. Sometimes I forget you're you're not a 90s kid like some of us. <laughs> Another costume was a birthday suit. Now, I don't know if you should be going out in public in a birthday suit. I think that that's a crime. That's uh, public indecency. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that that's not one of the stronger costumes I'd recommend for this year. Someone said that they were the dude. I don't know what that means. That's just a noun. Are you walking around with like a definition written across your chest or your back? If you Google the dude costume, it's just a guy with long hair, glasses, and a robe. Is that from like a movie or something? Oh, uh, The Big Lebowski. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty minimal effort costume, though. Mm -hmm. Unless you plan it like a year in advance, or you grow your hair out. And beard. And beard. Yeah, that can work. Someone said that they were drunk Santa, and they showed up for the wrong holiday. Someone said that they were... Um, actually, Kirby said that he was fentanyl. I don't know how you dress up. I also don't think he... I, he may have not been serious. But I don't think that's a good costume. Maybe he was trying to reply to the best Halloween candy story. But he replied to best costume is a fentanyl. That checks out. Arthur was another one we got. Arthur? Like, uh, you ever watch the show Arthur? Yeah, a little bit. But DW kind of scared me. So. What's D is DW the network? No, it's CW. What's DW? DW is like the little, like the lady of Arthur. That's like the sister, I think. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen her on some memes. Mm -hmm. DW. You think she's a milk first or cereal first kind of person? Her name's Dora Winfred. That's what it stands for. Why Why are you putting an effort for, like, these animated cartoon people's names? Just interesting. I never knew what it stood for. Yeah. No, I thought it stood for don't worry. Don't worry about it. DW. Uh, I'm going to let you guess who this person was. Rocky with the shorts topped up with the American flag. Alex, Alex Antoniadis, yeah. Guy's all about wrestling and boxing. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> he does a great he does a great Italian impression impression for a guy who's Greek. Someone yeah. said you know what? Yeah, he does, eh? Yeah. It's not bad. He also does a good Russian accent. Yo, I'm sweating buckets. Are you sweating buckets? Yeah, it is deathly hot in here. It's horrible. Also, these headphones, I don't know if you got a good look at these headphones. But they're the last two pairs that we were able to rent. And they're old. These headphones are old. I feel like these were the headphones that the Wright brothers wore when they were flying the plane. Is it Wright brothers? Who flew the first plane? The Wright brothers. Yeah, see, that's, I knew I was right. My friend Nolan said that he dressed up as a box, and I got him on the local news. Like, I'm, how do you, do you, like, cut out the eye holes? Or is your head out? Yeah, I know. I think head out is the move for sure. Yeah. I wouldn't dress as a box. No. I feel like this is like um I feel like that we could we could like this might need to be a meditation show with the tone of our voice. We could guide a meditation, I think. I know we're also both tired. But we we grind. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Um, I'd probably say like Mars bar. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. The Sour Patch Kids in like the little square pack. Okay. In the square. Oh, like in the square, like in the box. Yeah. Were people giving out f- like full boxes of candy in no, Hamilton? No, it's like the size of your palm. Like it's a square pack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You open it and put them all in your mouth. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was going to say Mars Bar was a terrible, terrible first choice. Hamilton wasn't bad for getting candy. Did you guys get like full size chocolate bars? There were a couple houses. I feel like it's usually grandmas who give out the king size chocolate. Yeah. And then. Sometimes it's the houses with no lights on because they don't want people to come. Yeah. Like they sometimes give out king size as well. But there's also like raisins and nasty stuff like that and apples. It's like, it's Halloween. Yeah. That's true. I couldn't imagine giving out raisins. No. Like, what 10 year old is going to go crazy because they got raisins in there? Like, a, a Kit Kat? No, I'm good. Thanks. You got raisins though? Do you like raisins? I hate raisins. Nasty. I'll eat raisins if they're in like a trail mix. But I'm not like I'm not at home like Ma, where are the raisins? Go, go, get raisins at Costco. Are they having are there raisin samples at Costco, Mom? I'm not a raisin guy. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Call the hotline. We we're, we're figuring out how the phone works. 416-979 Five zero 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 extension five five three six six five. My God, get a hey TMU. Get a longer phone number four one six nine seven nine five thousand extension fifty five thirty six sixty five. Is the phone gonna work, Kit? There's no way it's gonna work, eh? Okay. Well, you know what we can do. If you know your favorite Halloween candy. You can call me if you have my phone number. My dad says that the stream keeps freezing. Very frustrating, he says. Well, that's because he's an old man. Respectfully, Father. If you're trying to call the hotline, we apologize. It should be working. Did, did you load snap on the, on the soundboard? It's like load snap two or something. What do I know? Should we turn the volume up so we can hear the phone? Um, some of the answers that we got for favorite Halloween candy were vanilla Tootsie Roll. I feel like that's a dark horse pick. Reese's is very solid. I love Reese's. Um, a bit dangerous, though, if you got a kid who's allergic to peanut butter. Um, and I mean, hey, unless they don't know they're allergic to peanut butter until they, fi- until they try Reese's. I could see how that could be a positive experience. You could be helping save a kid's life in the future. Um, candy corn, trash. Um, ice chips. This was the same person who said birthday suit. So I'm starting to think, no phone? We're not doing the phone. Don't call us for the love of God. Turn your phone off. Some The same person who said birthday suit said ice chips. Um, if you're listening, you, give me, you can call me anytime you want. I'm always here to talk if, if you're unwell. Somebody said hot dogs. You're also free to call me. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine being a child? You know, you're you're going door to door with with your crush. She she said yes, yes, I'll go trick or treating with you, Sebastian. And then you get to a house, and someone is having a barbecue. They invite you in the back. And they say, "Hey, ketchup, mustard, or relish? What do you want?" You say, "I don't know." You got mayo? Maybe ketchup and mayo. Ketchup and mayo on my hot dog? Sure. Can you wrap it in aluminum foil and put it in my bag? You know how soggy that hot dog's going to be by the time you get back home? I'd still eat it. Would you? Yeah. You ever put lettuce on your hot dogs? No, actually. That is weird. Yeah, that's so dumb. Yo, who would do that? What? Who would even do that? That's stupid. Putting lettuce on a hot dog? What? What's this? What's going on, on your phone, bro? Uh, Dusty Baker, Houston Astros manager, retired. Dusty, we are rooting for you. 74 years old. Way to go, Dusty. Dusty! <laughs> Is Was he part of the cheating thing? Some would say. Dusty, we're disappointed. Yeah. 74? 
Yeah. And he's like in there, like in the bench and everything. Every game. Does he know where he is? Yeah, he's actually pretty competent. Really? Like in interviews and stuff. Yeah. He's not senile by any means. Yeah. Because that's like the age where it starts catching up. Mind you, my grandmother is, uh, I think, 90. She's, yeah, 90. That's Yeah, she's 90. That's what we'll say. And she's in great shape. She, My dad says that she will outlive us all. Um, I don't know about that, but she's in good shape. She eats a lot of Caesar salads. Apparently, Diet Coke is also good if you want to live long. Did you know that? There's always this debate, and I find it really weird when, like, it's usually more, like, fat people who will go to McDonald's and get the most greasiest order of, like, three Big Macs, but, like, they'll feel better because they'll be like, and just a medium Diet Coke. Yeah. Like, isn't there, like, aspartame in Diet Coke? Isn't that bad for you or something? I think so, but it's just the low, it's lower calories, right? Like, that's the whole thing about Diet Coke mm-hmm. is the calories. Is the, the, I mean, what's in it, probably not good. I know somebody who loves Diet Coke, and she, like, cracks it open, but not all the way, because it, like, there's something about it hides, it, uh, it's not as bubbly if you don't crack it open all the way. So she, like, sips it and avoids the, the, the carbon, the, 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 CO2, carbon dioxide. This is not a science podcast. I don't need to know what about CO2. So it's just flat soda. That sounds flat disgusting. Soda. Yeah. That's nasty. Well, just think of... like. Well, no, not necessarily. Like, if you don't like the bubbles, that's just like... It's flat soda, but it could be like drinking an iced tea. It's like syrup. Yes, it's like syrup. Like, run out of maple syrup at home. You run out of Aunt Jemima, Jemima's. Just slightly crack open a Diet Coke, pour in your pancakes. It's delicious. <laughs> or if you want a bit of fizz with your pancakes, just dunk it. Dunk all the pancakes in the Diet Coke. Someone said milk. We'll like tie it. Just milk. He's also a big gym guy. So I feel like his diet is like chicken, broccoli, milk, sweet potato. Do I know this person? No, he's in Montreal. Oh. Yeah. We also got rockets. Personally, not a fan of rockets. I can't do rockets. Like the candy. Yeah, like not like SpaceX. They're called Smarties in America. Yeah, they are, eh? Mm-hmm. That's weird. I always think they're better than us. So what are Smarties then? They don't exist. That's a Canadian only. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm going to keep you around more often. <laughs> you're, you're welcome back. Did you did you blow it in terms of the tech, technicals today at the, at the beginning of this episode? Sure. Sure you did. And I'm willing to take blame. That's what I'm doing. Strive for greatness. I'm blaming you. Yeah. But yeah, you can stay around. On this day, in 1861, the Toronto Stock Exchange is created. Are you a big stock guy, Kit? You know about bonds and portfolios and um, uh, Tesla? I scrolled through Wall Street Bets for like a week straight trying to, like, come up with conversations at the dinner table with the family. And that's the most I've ever done. What conversations did you have? Uh, did you guys hear about the uh, GameStop stock <laughs> back in 2021? Buy low, sell high, bro down. What's bro down? Chill with the homies after we're all rich. True. What's the first thing you'd buy if you were rich? Would it be new headphones because these are trash headphones that the school gave us? Respectfully, of course. Um, probably like Chick Fil A. <laughs> I'd probably be hungry. Like just because you're rich doesn't mean you're not gonna be hungry. True. I feel like it would even make you hungry because you grind even harder. Yeah, no, that's stuff I've thought about. Of like maybe even asking like our landlord to increase our rent so we'll grind harder. I could do without that. Yeah, but you want to grind harder. I want to grind harder, but. I would rather there not be a reason. Like, I don't want to grind harder because, like, I would rather grind harder. Let me rephrase. I don't want to grind harder because there's, like, a monkey on my back. You know, where, like, oh, man, I got to raise more. I got to get more money because the rent's more. I would rather grind harder because I'm, like, I'm passionate about this. I want to, I want to, I want to make this soup. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm going to grind harder to find the best recipe and et cetera, et cetera, and end up making more money. I don't, I would rather grind because I want to do it as opposed to there's going to be a consequence if you don't. Plus, if I grind hard to make a great soup, there goes your hunger problem. I want to give some birthday shout outs today. Today, October 25th, uh, Katy Perry turns 39. Firework, top 10 song in my books. Thoughts? I think Katy Perry is the best female artist of my time. Have you heard of Ice Spice? <laughs> Have you? No comment. You thought I was feeling you? Like, what? Okay, but what about, you can't, like, you can't, you know that everybody who is listening right now is thinking about Taylor Swift after you haven't just said that. Yeah, that's fine. I think Taylor Swift's overrated as hell. Really? I feel like that's a hot take. No. I don't think she's overrated. Like, I couldn't, like, gun to my head, I'm not naming 10 T-Swift songs. No, gun to your head, you probably are. Can you name five right now? Five Taylor Swift songs. 22. Okay. Well, weird choice for the first one, but yeah. <laughs> uh, 22. Um, we are never getting back together. Okay. Uh, uh, blank space. Okay. That, see, I wouldn't even get that one. You've named three that I wouldn't have thought of. Those are like radio bops, though. Now you're low-key closeted Swifty. No, Barb's over Swifty as well, Nicki Minaj. Barb's? Oh, okay. True. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't even know another two. Okay, I'll I'll take my crack at it. Uh, Dear John, it's about jo it's uh, a song to John Mayer. Oh. Um, because that's one of the men she dated. Jake Gyllenhaal. There's one about him. Yeah, there is. There's also one about um, what's the one? What is the really popular one where there was like a it's like a ten minute song? It came out like last year, two years ago. I think that one was also throwing shade at Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, it was. It w but what was the name of it? I'm not a Swifty like that. No, clearly somebody will know. Our hotline's probably blowing up. Guys, can somebody please text one of us and tell us what that Taylor Swift song is, please? Also. I would like to double down on the fact that candy corn is a terrible Halloween snack. What does it taste like? Does it taste like corn? I'm getting angry. Yes, I got new glasses. Everybody can stop hitting my DMs. Do you know how many DMs I've gotten today? At least like, I don't know, a thousand? Like, hey, I just noticed, like, are those new glasses? Are those lens transitional? Yes. If it's sunny outside, these will dim. Yes, I got new glasses, okay? The glazing is crazy. Periodically. Oh, also, another birthday shout-out. Um, Pablo Picasso turns 142. Now, that's impressive. Speaking of outliving us all. What did he paint? Mona Lisa? No. Yeah? Are you I'm, for no, real? No, I'm, I'm, I'm like 100% serious. No. Da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa. All right. Okay. Wasn't he in Titanic? What did Pablo Picasso paint? Was it the screaming one? No, that was Van Gogh. Uh, See? V, the old guitarist. Uh, Girl before a mirror. This is all like common knowledge stuff. Well, I guess I'm not common. I must be built different. Okay. What did he paint? Pablo Picasso paint. He painted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did all this weird stuff. Bunch of, like, abstract. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he was talented, sure. And now he's 142. Um, Olivia Rodrigo is coming to Toronto in March, and I would really like to go. I just, like, really wish, like, somebody would just buy me tickets. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I want to go see Olivia Rodrigo. And tickets are probably, like, so cheap. Right? Right, Kit? And you, like, owe me, like, for this one time. So I'm asking you for Olivia Rodrigo tickets. She's going to be here March 29th. Do you listen to her? 
I think she's no, no. Not. Wow, clearly you've never gone through heartbreak. <laughs> I guess not. Damn, he a dog. <laughs> so periodically, what time is it, by the way? Forty-five. Oh my God, we have fifteen minutes left. What's a shit? Oh, all too well is the name of the Taylor Swift song. And my dad said, candy corn tastes like a bat's ass. Don't ask me how. It's like swallowing a battery. It's so nasty. Candy corn? Yeah. And I feel like it lives in your stomach for a while, too. What if you chew on it? Then you have more flavor in your mouth. Huh. Also, tickets are 450 bucks for nosebleeds. Well, you better... <laughs> Look back into the for nosebleeds. Yeah, you better get back in the stock market, brother. In the pit, twenty three hundred. Oh, that's nothing. That's like work. That's like a one bedroom apartment in in downtown Toronto. So, periodically, I like to go to. <coughs> Whoa, who was that? Jesus. Periodically, I like to go to Instagram and um, ask my like millions of followers. I'm like, uh, hey, Bur I'm gonna do birdcore next week. Um, I don't obviously. But I ask for topics. So people send in different topics of what we should be talking about. So I want to go through some of them. And we're going to discuss them. Now, one is from my friend Connor. He wants to talk about uh, them microwave meals that take like 10 to 15 minutes. If you're putting something in the microwave that takes half the time that it takes chicken to cook in the oven, you should not be eating that food. If something has to be in the microwave for like 13 and a half minutes, that's not good. That can't be good. Also, at that point, like go down the street, buy something, bring it back. That would be just as long as it took you to make that microwave meal. Thoughts? I don't know. There's something like beautiful about how like disgusting it is. It's like when you microwave like a pizza pocket, you know it's not like the best thing you're going to eat, but it still tastes good in the moment. Yeah, but is it worth, like, you know your stomach's going to be in shambles after. All that radiation cooking onto that food, some of the radiation's got to set you, when you're biting in the food, it's going to radiate your tongue. You're scared of radiation? Yeah, and so what? I sleep with my phone under my pillow for safety. Yeah, I wouldn't let radiation bother me. Why not? Just not a pussy. You know, 5G's coming for all of us, right? 5G and all four of the other G's. <laughs> Alex Antoniadis wants to know, what can you cover in chocolate? Now, does that mean what can you cover in chocolate and eat? Or what can you cover in chocolate? I can cover this microphone in chocolate. I can cover these dusty ass headphones in chocolate. Doesn't mean I'm gonna eat them. What can I cover in chocolate and eat? Uh, I don't know. Nuts, um, strawberries, um, Yukon potatoes. All those can be covered in chocolate and eaten. A guy I went to a school with said that there's nothing that either chocolate or cheese can't go on. Like those two can go on something it's uh, either one or the other uh, uh, my buddy no i don't uh, i have a friend who used to wrap granola bars in craft cheese that is disgusting see that's what i'm saying so cheese can't go on anything but like you can put chocolate on it i'm saying if cheese can't go on it chocolate can be the substitute as well okay so theoretically cheese can go on anything savory and chocolate can go on anything sweet either or no, because we just said that cheese can't go on a granola no, bar. No, but you can't find a like a food item where both cheese or chocolate wouldn't like make it better. Wait, say that one more time. Okay, there's no food product out there that you can't put chocolate or cheese, and they won't. It won't be good. Like if I have a granola bar, if I put cheese on, it's gonna be bad. But if I put chocolate on it, it'll be good. There's huh. not something where both cheese and chocolate would make it taste bad. Cauliflower? You could melt cheese on that easily. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Wait. I think you just made a fact. Yeah. No, I'm thinking about it now. I'm thinking about what kind of foods 
Wow. Steak? I don't want to put cheese on a steak. Oh, you like could, a steak though. and cheese sandwich. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, it, like it might not be your preferred way, but it could still work. Right. So I guess to answer Alex's question, well, we just gave him an alley. That was an alley oop. He gave us an alley oop and we dunked. Um, my friend Nico wants to know about digging holes to China. Theoretically, it's possible. Is it not? You'd run into water. But underneath the water, there's like, there's still earth. So if you get all the way down, like deep in, like there is a route, 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 path. There is a path you could take to get to China by digging enough. Until you run into water. But you swim to the bottom of the water. Oh, I'm at the bottom? Great. Oh, was that? Oh, there's the Titanic. Okay, I'm going to keep digging and dig, dig, dig. And then eventually you'll get to, you. if you're going the right way, you'll get to China. Yes, you'll run into water, but beneath the water, there has to be some sort of level playing field where the water stops at the bottom. You keep digging there. Much pressure, though. Your brain would pop. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that one. So you're saying it's not possible? I don't know if it's possible. Do I think China has done that to get into America? Maybe. But why would you want to even build a hole from Canada to China? Um, fur trade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the fur trade. If I was in the fur trade... I would want a nice mink coat. One that you'd thrift these days. Someone comes along, hey, I just skin this bear. Can I have a quarter? I'd say, yep. What size would you say this bear coat is? Large? I wear a 48, roughly, shoulders. I used to be a 45, been hitting the gym a bit more. So I'm a 48 these days. I would love this bear coat. Here is a pistol. Someone wants to know, why do people have nails? Like, they're pretty much useless. Can't think of one actual reason we need them. Um, nails make it easy to, like, peel a sticker. That's definitely one reason. Pick things up. Yeah? Yeah. 100%. Open your computer. Wait, what do you mean pick things up? Just use their, your hands. Yeah, but if it's thin. Oh, like like a very fine, like perhaps yeah. like a shoestring? Like, yeah. Okay, well, there, that was a pretty, we answered that one pretty quickly. Okay, I'm getting like 500 more DMs. Yes, I got new glasses. Okay, my prescription changed and I have new lenses. Yes, thank you. They look good. Thank you, I know they do. Y'all can stop hitting my line now. God. We have five minutes left here before we get kicked out to stew. Um, we have some lovely guests lined up this season. We have on Instagram at Beauty by Nate, a uh, celebrity makeup artist will be joining us in two weeks. My very good friend, um, at Sub Cheese for Guac, Corey Pittman will be joining us. Uh, the lovely Paige Madison Evans, she's an actress, she will be joining us this season. Next week, we may or may not have a guest. It may just be old Semi and Kit. Huh? What do you say? For old time's sake, right? Yeah, I see you smirking. Okay. What is she smirking at, Dirk? Um, yesterday, uh, Kit in here and I went to the gym. And, you know, Formerly, I was a big gym guy. September, yes, I took a break. Yes, I got new glasses. So yesterday, Kit and I had the gym after our improv class, which was a great class, by the way. Shout out to Tom. And we took pre-workout. And I'm not a big pre-workout guy. But I took a scoop. Kit gave me a scoop. He said, here, close your eyes and hold your breath. You won't feel a thing. Bite this spoon. And 
if you've taken pre-workout before, you know that some is great and some just makes you itchy all over. Itchy, but like you can't scratch it. You know what I mean? And that's what I felt. I felt like I wanted to claw someone's skin off. Or bite somebody. Like bite like a good chunk out of a shoulder. Um, so I took pre-workout again today. And I've adapted a little bit. Do you take pre-workout every time you work out? As long as I had the tub, and then once I run out, I usually take, like, a long break. Right. You ever take expired pre-workout? No. You're going to hit PRs. If you take pre-workout that has been expired for, I don't know, three months, it's, like, starting to turn brown and, like, solidify in clumps, you're going to have the best workout of your life. My brother did that once, and then he fainted after the gym. But hey, he had two plates on the bench for the first time, so. Jack Wallace, I know you're listening on your bike ride. Jack wants to know what the most inconvenient pets are. I would say probably a cobra or a tiger because you they, you know, one wrong move, you know, one day with no treat, you ain't waking up the next day. Yes, having a pet snake's like keeping a prisoner in your house. Like, if it escapes the cage, you're done. Yeah. It's going to kill you. Yeah. Unless it's a little garden snake. Just a little snake that wants to slither through the lilacs. Smell the roses. That's my favorite kind of snake. I love a snake that's going to nibble on my arm a little bit. But it's not going to bite me. Just going to nibble. I want a snake that's going to kiss my neck. A snake that's going to wrap around my arm. Like a bracelet. Snake that's gonna give me a little kiss on the cheek when I'm going to bed at night. A snake that's gonna say, "Hey, your hat's a little crooked. Let me fix it for you." That's kind of snake I want. I don't want a cobra. Cobra gonna say, "Hey, where my bacon?" I just want a little garden snake. Maybe I name it Felix. And Felix has a PhD in art history. Felix wants to move to Paris. But he's just a little garden snake. Felix can't go to Paris. He likes to watch TV with a glass of Pinot Grigio. That's what Felix wants to do. I love Felix. He's my best friend. Jack also wants to know, what's the best and worst car to get hit by? I think this depends on, do you want to survive the hit? Like, if you got hit by a G-Wagon... And you survive. You're like, yo, y'all, after I left your house when we watched football on Sunday, I got smoked by a G-Wagon at the intersection. Like, the Mercedes logo is imprinted on my chest forever now. But if you're like, you pull up to school, you're like, hey, yeah, I got hit by like a, I got hit by a hybrid Prius. I feel like you want me to get hit by a hybrid Prius. Right? Yeah, probably not. No. I feel like the worst thing to get hit by would be like a short bus with people on it yeah 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 i feel like and they're all filming and laughing at you yeah and And then they try to make you think it's your fault yeah and then you pee yourself which is fine i shit my pants my fourth birthday party it was time for cake i was like y'all gotta give me two minutes Daddy got to take care of business. Jack also wants to know one bad habit you like to develop. Um, I think Irish goodbyes. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Like, oh, that's great. It's awesome. That's great. And because, I've been starting to do it, so it's even cooler to, like, practice. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say gambling, but that's a good one, too. Because people, then people are like, hey, where does like Kit keep going every time we get together? It's like, wait, he left two hours ago? Oh. Yeah, it's super mysterious. The only bad part is if you Irish get by and like nobody notices. Yeah, that's bad. It's like, oh, wait, Kit. Which we- probably happens like 60% of the time <laughs> for like average True. people. True. Well, that does it for us here at Birdcore. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to see you next week at 5 o'clock on Spirit Live. This will be uploaded to Spotify and YouTube and all that that goodness. 
Um, you take care of yourself and you tell your mother you love her. Thank you, everybody. Good night. It's like a dream of mine to, to sure. completely blow out and like have to restructure my knee. We've communicated yeah. and said, you know what? Lion tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. Cindy! The TV's leaking! McLovin? Yeah. Today is Thomas Cup's birthday, and this is Project X. Yo.